Yo, yo, what's up, y'all? Welcome to the show. Thank you for joining me. And yo, let's get that coffee right now because I am hella tired. I was up super late gaming with my homies and playing Death Stranding. So, whoo, let's go. And today we are talking about game merchandise, physical game merchandise versus digital content. Mm. Yes. 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 And uh, <laughs> I don't even know what this is. Who cares? I can't remember. I'm too tired. We gotta just. Mm. Mm -hmm. ah. Cheers to you guys. I hope you have a nice hot cup of Joe. Let's get it on. That's right. Physical game merchandise versus digital content. Yo, I have seen a decrease, a massive decline in developers over the years putting out merchandise that we can buy and enjoy with the games that we love the most. And I've seen a massive increase in digital content. And y'all know what I'm talking about. DLC, in-game skins, in-game collectibles, and season passes. And Yo, I swear I'm forgetting something. <laughs> That's right, loot boxes, yo. There's all sorts of ways that developers are trying to make money now. And I just find that they're not fulfilling like they used to be. I used to be really happy to give developers money for merchandise that I could get and wear or put on my desk or read or hang up on my wall. And nowadays it's just all in-game digital content for the most part. And something special came in the mail for me the other day that I want to check out with you guys. All right, all right, no more bullshit and let's jump right in and check it out because I can't wait to share this with you guys. So let's get it on. All right, all right, so Here's the deal. A few months ago, I went online because I wanted to buy some new Stalker merchandise. As you know, it's my favorite game franchise, so I was just getting the itch to bring some new shit in to add to my collection. So I went onto their website and found the old Stalker shop that was there all those years ago, like way back in 07 when the first game released, and they still had some stuff up that was in stock. And the first thing was a bandana. Ah, oh, yo, I wear bandanas all the time, sling them out the back, and they are there whenever you need them for whatever you need them for. I love having them around, and so I picked up one, and I thought, okay, I'm just gonna grab one, and if it's badass, then I'll buy a few more. Check it out. Nice, cool military green color with the Stalker logo. Love it. So I decided, hell yeah, I'm gonna buy a bunch more, so I placed another order for six more. <laughs> And then the waiting game began, and these were already shipping from the Ukraine. So I expected there to be like uh, around 30 days for him to get here. But a couple months went by and I was like, oh, did they lose my order? Like what the hell is going on? There's a bunch of crazy shit going on in the world right now, as you know. So shipping has just been impacted everywhere. But I finally got a notification from my postal office. They left a little slip on my door saying, come to the office because we have a package for you. And I thought, oh, this might be it. But I was confused because they left this in my mailbox and why wouldn't they just bring it to my house and leave it on my door? I don't know. So I went to the office. Boom. And when I got there, this is what delivered, yo. And I couldn't help but think right away, why the hell did they send such a big box for six bandanas? But when I cracked it open, this is what was inside. 
That's right, they sent me a complete special box set for the game. So when I cracked it open and noticed that there was way more inside here than what I was expecting, I thought, all right, hold up, hold up. I have got to check this out with y'all. This is what inspired the topic for the day, physical game merchandise versus digital content, because it really made me remember what developers used to do to support their fan base that loved their games by putting out games in cool packages with custom artwork with a bunch of cool shit inside for us to enjoy. Like I mentioned, most of the shit that we get these days are skins, DLC, season passes, in-game collectibles, and <laughs> loot boxes, that kind of shit. There are still some developers that put out some cool special edition packages that you can get, even though they don't have as much cool stuff in it as I think that they should, they still put them out. And there are still developers like Valve that have really robust merchandise stores where you can still buy stuff that's related to their games. But for sure, physical merchandise has just really died coming direct from developers, which I think is super unfortunate. And it's a trend that I would like to see reversed because I love supporting developers and games that I love by bringing content into my house for me to have and have fun with. First thing, clothes. Yo, I want hats, I want shirts, I want patches, I want stickers, shit like that. I love all that stuff. I also want posters and the occasional action figure just to bring out every once in a while or display in a cool area to remind myself how much I loved the game and to get excited about it and get some boost. There are things all over my office that I can see right now that are from games that I love that I put on display just for fun and I love Love that stuff. Yo, and back in the day, PC games were always sold in these bigger boxes that allowed the developers to put content in them if they needed to, and that really gave them more visibility on the shelf. This one is a little bit bigger than the typical size that you would find in the store, but it's pretty damn close. Boom, there's a close up. Show you guys the back. So, Let's crack this bitch open. All right, so like I said, I took a quick peek while I was at the post office, and I'm not exactly sure why they sent me this instead of the bandanas. Maybe they saw that I ordered six and spent like 35 bucks and they ran out or something and decided to just send me this. Whatever it is, mad props to GSC and whoever manages the stalker shop out there. Much love to you guys. And this is just so boosty to get this. I can't wait to see what's in Side. All right. So first up, we've got a couple discs here. And it looks like one of them is the game. And if you actually look at the disc, I've never seen that artwork before. But it's got a stalker right on the front there, shooting over his shoulder. That's pretty tight. And the second one, oh, this is a bonus DVD. Check that out. Some more custom artwork. Pretty cool. Wow, I'm gonna have to pop that in. And okay, so I saw these three things right when I popped it open, but I didn't look at anything else. Here is a book, and I don't know what book it is. I'm gonna have to translate it. So badass. I wish I could actually read it. <laughs> but cool just for a novelty piece. There's actually two compartments up here. Before we get into that, why don't we crack open the top part and just pull out whatever's in here. God, there's a lot of stuff in here. Oh, this looks like the uh, game pamphlet. You can see right here, they show you exactly like what the in-game features are and what each thing on your pad represents. You know, and this was actually something that was really cool back in the day when they used to ship physical copies. You would get booklets. And in those booklets, first of all, there was always cool artwork in it. And it gave them the opportunity to just set up the whole story for the game, which was so badass. A lot of that has been replaced with like cutscenes and, you know, CGI clips in the beginning. But so cool. Whoa. This is like some sort of calendar, like a yearly calendar something from Pripyat. It's got Pripyat in the background and then looks like some kid uh, in the city that's playing hopscotch. Ah, check that out though. 
That is just badass. <laughs> Another poster. Oh, wow. This one is, oh, check it out. It's one of the famous stalker pictures of the marked one um, standing outside one of the uh, threshold points going into the swamps of the zone. And way, way, way off in the distance, you can see, uh, yes, the Chernobyl factory, the plant. Wow, that's awesome. What a cool picture. And on the back, wow, it has the entire map of the game. Check that out. So this is normally on your PDA in the game. And it has all the locations and all of the main characters that you meet in those locations. Damn, that is cool. <laughs> the memories. You know for sure this is getting framed and put up, y'all. All right, like I said, there's a couple other small compartments with some additional trinkets in here. I already see some cool shit. First one is, oh, it looks like a, like a stalker key ring emblem. Look at that. You can just pin that right on your uh, on your key ring. Maybe I'll put it on my backpack. Badass. We've also got a patch, which is undoubtedly for one of the factions. And some sort of, oh, no way. <laughs> you guys, check it out. It's a stalker Zippo. Remember when Zippos were just the thing? <laughs> yeah, check that out, how cool. <sighs> well, I don't smoke nothing anymore, but uh, I could definitely use this to light some candles, light the fireplace. Okay, that's it for that compartment. Let's check this last one. And... Whoa. <laughs> Check this out, what, what is the... No shit! You guys, it's a little mini stalker light. <laughs> How cool. It doesn't look like there's an option to just stay on any particular color, so it, it's probably disappearing when it turns green on the camera, but ah, that is so cool. How neat. And that's it. You guys, holy shit, look at all this stuff. We've got two cool posters, a book, which I can't read, but that's cool. The game, along with a bonus DVD, which I'm gonna pop in right away and see what the hell is on this. A custom mini light. We've got a patch for one of the factions. We've got a cool emblem that you can put on your key ring. We've got a custom stalker Zippo, the booklet with all the information in it, and of course, the cool box. Ugh. Yo, I still don't know why they sent me this. It must be because they didn't have any other bandanas in stock, but ugh, this is amazing. Here it all is, you guys, on display. Look at all this cool shit that was in the special edition of Stalker. <laughs> guys, I can't believe how much cool shit was in here. I am so pumped. I knew when I opened this, there was gonna be some extra stuff in here, but I didn't expect all of this. It's unbelievable, especially when you compare it to what developers do these days. If you want shirts, hats, hoodies, or beanies, anything like that. You're gonna have to go on Redbubble, which just has some custom shit that somebody else made. It's not direct from the developer. And if you do get something directly from the developer, it's usually something that isn't that cool or is hella expensive. I think it really speaks to how this disconnect has developed as the gaming industry has grown. And I think, you know, developers and their publishers and the companies that own them just don't have as much of a connection with their fan base. I mean, look at all this stuff. You can just tell that the developers are fans of their own game that are passionate about it. 
and that inherently creates a direct link with their fan base. The way that things have changed over time honestly make me really sad because I used to love feeling like I had a direct connection with the developers for the games that I loved the most. The gaming industry has grown and just gotten massive since 2007, and I think it makes sense, especially with the evolution of tech, that things would be more digital. But yo, oh, do I miss this kind of shit from developers? I used to just love going online and finding custom stuff that I could get from them. I missed that and I want that to make a comeback. I think there is money for the developers in it too. And if they can discover that they can actually make revenue off it versus DLC skins and season passes and bullshit like that, we might see somewhat of a return to, you know, just getting full-fledged games at release instead of additional content coming later. Mm. Maybe not. Maybe that part's total bullshit, but I would at least like to see a return to this additional type of content because it's stuff that you can bring into your home and enrich your life with for you know, the passion that you have for particular games. Let me know what you guys think below. What was your favorite item that you got from a game back in the day? Or do you miss getting these old boxes with the booklets and some extra content in it from games that you buy? Let me know below. I would love to hear from you guys, especially if any of this kicked up some nostalgia for you because holy shit, it did for me. Mm. That's it, y'all. The Joe has been killed. Thank you for joining me today. Please like and subscribe, and y'all know how we do. I will see you on the next Kerms Garage. GG.